Hi everyone. We all know how hot Pi 3 can get, and it's essential for you guys to get a cooling case kit. And I have got the best one on the market. So let's find that out. Okay. So it's a black case and it requires some skills for it to open it as they have got three lockers, one here, one here and one here. So the easiest way to open it is to press here with a little bit of strength and it will open easily. Alright, so let's check it out. We have got what we have got here. One seat of heat sinks, one cooling fan and a case. And let's check out the heat sinks. Uh, it is a three pieces of heat sinks and those two should be made of aluminium and this one is made of copper. So and it's pre-applied the thermal conductivity adherence so it's very easy for you to connect them to the board and that is all the items for the this cooling kit and I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble it step one we have to stick all the heat sinks on the pipe board I have got one here that has I have done it before right so just gonna show you guys the position of the heat sink we have got a green one here, a black one here, and a copper one here. And as you can see, as it is customized, so the size is just right. It doesn't take any extra space. All right, so this is step one. So after you finish it, step two is to put this board into the case. If you have got a TF card like I do, I suggest you to take it out first, alright? And notice here is the slot, so we have to put it here, alright? So it's quite easy, alright? That's step two. Step three, we have to install the fan into this piece. Please notice that a line should be next to the GPIO slot, okay? So when you finish it, you have to connect it to the board, all right? So a red line should be connected to GPIO number four, which is here, all right? So we just connect it here. All right, so it's done. It's quite easy, just load, pay attention to your lines. Ooh, that's quite easy, right? It's very easy for you guys, and we can put it here. Let's put the card inside. All right, so let's put the TF card back into it. Notice there's a little space here, so you have to put it carefully into it. All right. So it's done and done. All right. So it's quite easy actually, and I think with the cooling fan and heat sinks, it should be perfect for a Raspberry Pi. And if you want to do some more like your own DIY work, uh, the good thing is that we have got this GPIO slot here, and you can just put some two bond lines and connect it to the breakboard for your own experience. That's all, and I think it's perfect. So.